and that's where they come from. And you know why? Thank you very much. Yeah? Thank you. All right. Good morning to all the people out there. I'd like to acknowledge, firstly acknowledge Uncle Desmond Sandy, my great uncle, my nan's older brother, the elder of our tribe, tribal homelands, the Yabara, Menachin people, Yurong Pan people of South East Queensland region. I'd like to acknowledge him for grounding us and keeping us grounded to this country in the good spirit of our ancestors through that block of the country that will keep our spirits content as we march through this city, reminding this country of the genocide that still continues to oppress our people. And I want to open that acknowledgement out to the ancestors of my father's side, the Dunguru, the Barara, the Warrigan Missionary, up to the Northern Territory, Lake Nash, up to the Gumaji, the Gulf Ferry, the Wani country, Acknowledging my ancestors and my lineage and my song lines up to those countries and extending that to all. Well, I want to acknowledge the Waka Waka people in the West, my grandfather, Leroy Hart, and the Waka Waka country. Acknowledging the Gapi Gapi in the north, part of my grandfather, Brian White's country, to my mum's father's side. Acknowledging the Yukuge to the south, also part of my ancestry in which Arne Devi and the family spoke about the strong lineages down there and a part of family. Right down to the tweed, the non-indigenous people in your country as well, wherever you come from, from around the world, because we are only 3%, 3.3% of this population, and there's anything that we know is majority rules in this Western system that we should be abolished and should be rebuilt with our law, L-O-R-E. Because community is important and the government show us time and time again that they don't know how to keep community strong. The health is in the tribe, the tribe is in the health. Community of unity. That's why we're here today showing that maybe there might be sicknesses out there that are fearing our people. And many Channel 7s, Channel 9, Channel 10, fearing our people into marching for their rights, we have to remember that our old people never had internet and online live streams back in the day. They had to extend their human rights understanding for all and educate through this way. This is the original way. I don't learn how to speak like this from when I was a judgeum right to when I'm a man now, in no school, in no university. I listen to the old people like Aunty Debbie, Uncle Desmond, and the many tribal elders that speak sovereign law up on these microphones. That's how our future is going to be strong and rebuilt. And that's the same with the non-Indigenous judgeums, children that we have here today, joining our judgeums in unity. Let their be names, ears listen to the truth. Standing in front of this garden here, on someone that claimed the land that she knew nothing about and continues to know nothing about. We are the oldest continuous culture in the world with over 1,500 languages and dialects and many thousands of song lines that are sung for Mother Earth and Babrai, the great light, the Father Spirit, in the Uganaki Bharati, the land beyond the skies. Those totems are in the skies and they remind us of our law. So I thank you all for joining us today in this fight. And you see, I look out here, might see a couple of hundred people. But if you look out and you feel with all energy, I feel thousands and thousands of spirits. Right back to the beginning that will be joining us. We've got to stick to this way. This is a part of our tradition in the contemporary sense. When they see us marching through with our colours, it reminds them. It brings up the guilt. That's why they drink grog on this day. 
to now name you, to now what they've done to our ancestors and what they continue to do in this genocide system. I'm speaking as a man that's run a business and poured in many different it's schools. Loud, Mary. Yeah. And I can't teach you more. Know. Hello because Mary, how you going? Yeah. And yeah. Continuous health care. So what they do? They put mandates. So brothers like me and can't COVID go kept in people and away, eh? to the next generation. So COVID and the rain. I can't go in. Yeah, and look, show them the, the flag's so wet. Because of the rule from that stops me oh, from doing build. my culture and stops yeah. me from doing my ceremony, I say fuck that. <laughs> No, no, don't go on the train. Travel all through this country. I just, I just ride around. When I go down south, I'm on a ride at the moment to stop the blockade of Cuba. We're doing 15,000 kilometres from Canberra to Havana. We're up to about, I think we're up to about seven or six or seven thousand kilometres. Kicking up the dust on this country. I might just finish this. That's how we do it. People got the idea. And I've just been live streaming. Have you been, no?